in the last video we have discussed about the functions and uh, what is a function the block body syntax of a function and we have also created a new function that prints uh, a string okay and we have also called the that function okay so in this video we are going to uh, create a function that uh, that prints the double of that that returns the double of an uh, integer okay so function that doubles an integer okay so uh, we are going to use the uh, block body as of now so what was in the block body so we have first uh, use we have to use the fun keyword and then we have to name the function such that uh, when we refer it after a long time it should be clear to me that why i named the function and what the function does so as the function doubles an integer so i can name it as double an integer okay and then i have to uh, pass the argument in the open and close parenthesis so uh, like uh, I have to pass uh, pass an argument and then its type. So I'll name the argument as a and it type its type is int. Okay. And next I have to mention the return type. So the return type of an integer would uh, the return type of and double of an integer would be also int. So I'm going to men mention int. Now we have to open the function and write the code. Okay so we have a now what we have to do we have to just multiply a by 2 so i have i can write a is equals to a into 2 okay and then i could return a okay so now it is showing a red underline uh, inside a and it is showing that well cannot be reassigned so uh, what the problem is like when i define a function the variable or the argument uh, that i define is a value parameter not a variable parameter okay so i cannot uh, multiply and reassign it okay so what i can do is i can just return a into 2 here okay so uh, when it enters a function double an integer uh, it is passed an argument an integer and uh, the return type is an integer and the function returns a into 2 so i am just going to go into the main function and call the double an integer function so i am going to write double an integer and pass the uh, integer in it so uh, let's say i have passed a equals to 4 now uh, when i run this program i am not going i am not i will not be able to print anything because uh, i have i have not used print statement anywhere okay so uh, let me just like so yeah when i will run this program uh, it is not going to print anything because I have never used the print statement anywhere. So what I am going to do is I am going to just add print ln here and uh, what it will do is it will print the uh, output of that function. Okay. So uh, when I run this program uh, we can see that the output is 8. So we have made a function that doubles an integer. Now we will move ahead and see what expression body is expression body is another syntax for writing a function so when i write a function it just return uh, double of an integer it is quite a long syntax okay so instead of these this block body expression body is used for these type of uh, syntaxes uh, so what is expression body is uh, so in expression body also we will uh, firstly use the keyword fun and then we will give the function name and then we will pass the argument 
and then we will pass the return type so uh, starting is uh, similar to the block body and after passing the return type instead of uh, opening curly braces we will just uh, write equals to and then the expression so i'll just write the function uh, double integer in uh, expression body so i'll pass argument x as an integer and the return type would be also an integer and now instead of uh, opening and closing of curly braces i'll just write equals to and then uh, i'll just write x into 2 okay and now i'll go ahead in the main function and write print ln and double integer and then i'll give value uh, 46 now uh, when i run this program uh, it gives output as 8 and 92 so the program works just fine so what expression body did is it uh, it reduced the length of the code and it made the code much easier to read okay so now calling and invoking of a function uh, what is calling and invoking of a function so uh, when i called the function here double and integer okay it is called the calling of an function so calling the new function inside the main function is the calling of a function and uh, how, how how can i do that uh, we have to just write the function name and pass the argument in the parenthesis okay so uh, i guess now we have completed with the function 